Hi Aries, this is your forecast for the month of February 2019. This is a general reading for Aries Sun, Aries Rising, or Aries Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. So Aries, this first week of February, you are starting off with a major card, the Hanged Man. And so things are in limbo. They're not moving perhaps as quickly as you'd like. It may feel like an agonizing weight of some sort. And this is a week where you could be dealing with extremes, either saints or sinners. Somebody may be selfish or somebody may be an unnecessary martyr. And you may be dealing with people who don't quite know who they are, or that could be you. You are perhaps defining yourself in terms of what others think of you or what their wishes are. Or you may lack commitment on some part, or you may be dealing with somebody who is uh, unreliable or not committed fully to something. This could also be a week where you're taking a new look at a situation, a new perspective. You're going at it with a different angle. And for some of you, you may be in a period of withdrawal because you are focused on something. You are selflessly applying yourself to achieve some kind of goal or objective. Or maybe you are pondering on something. You're in meditation. You are contemplating something. So you may be very spiritually oriented this week and going within. Now this could also be a week where you may change your mind about how you feel about something. You may be trying to influence someone else or somebody may be trying to change your mind. So there could be a reversal of some sort. It could be an exchange where a situation was going one way and now it ping-pongs back in another direction. Uh, you were You had something and now you have to give it back to somebody or vice versa. So you are taking your time this week, and because this is a major card, of course, there are some spiritual lessons to be learned. This is a testing period for you, so you may be taking a leap in faith somehow. Your consciousness is growing. You are enlightened in some way. And this is a week where you're going to have to be adaptable. Situations may be tinged with some form of deception, whether that's through others or you deceiving yourself. You may have to break away from the past and readjust the way you're dealing with something. Now, for some of you, you're at a crossroads. Uh, maybe there's something unexpected that has occurred, either within the home or within your career. You may have to give in to people who oppose you in some way. You may have to give up your stance and, you know, release your own personal will and give in. It may be you decide voluntarily to make this sacrifice. You see that there's something bigger at stake, something larger, and so you're willing to make some kind of sacrifice. But for others of you, you are waiting. You are trying to empower yourself and use your personal will to perhaps manifest some kind of plan or a dream. Uh, there could be this need for you to take charge in some way. Maybe you're making some useless sacrifices that are not paying off. So this is a week, again, for you to be very objective about a situation and try to look at it from a different viewpoint. You're going to have to make peace with whatever has happened in the past and you're going to have to come to terms with your past so that you can reevaluate where you're headed. So this is a week where you're going to have to be very patient. You're going to have to put in effort to try to stay focused on what it is you want to make happen. Now, positively, it may be easy for you to do that. It could be a breath of fresh air. You're starting to be more realistic about your decisions, how to achieve your goals, and regardless of what has happened in the past, you're not letting that break you down. You may have experienced some delays, or things may be in limbo, or perhaps you've dealt with some kind of treachery of some sort. But that becomes motivational for you. And you may develop stronger boundaries this week where you're not letting people pull guilt on you. You know you've given, you've made sacrifice, and so you're not allowing them to play the guilt card. So you're looking at, you know, where you've been investing and giving up and bending and making sacrifices that haven't been of value for you. 
And if you have any doubt about whether you're doing the right thing, you may continue to do what's easiest for yourself. You may fall back on old habits even though they don't work for you and they're not good for your situation. This is also a week where, you know, maybe you're dealing with some kind of uh, unwelcome guest or something that you wanted to happen. You couldn't realize your goal or there was some indecision. And so you become frustrated and maybe you try to hide that frustration, but inevitably that resentment is going to come out when you least expect, and perhaps with somebody who doesn't really deserve it. So this is a week while you're in this limbo, you should be evaluating any loose ends that you need to tie up because those things that you tend to ignore will crop up in some other area of your life. And maybe you're ready to start doing things in a different way, but you don't have the right motivation. You're having to look at this week where, again, maybe you have been excessively conforming to something. You've been trying to live up to somebody's expectations. And in the process, you've had to give up a very important part of yourself. In some cases, maybe you're dealing with people who don't keep their promises. So this is about looking at where you've been limiting yourself, where you've participated in something self-defeating, whether it's a code of behavior or an attitude. And again, it's going to be very important that you uh, maintain your composure, that you're not passive in the wrong areas of life. Now, the second week you have this Two of Cups. So this is a week that is uh, very important. Although it's not a major card, it has strong dignity by virtue of falling in this slot. And so you may be very focused on uh, contracts, agreements, exchanges, your emotional investment in other people, whether you are receiving what you're putting in. For some of you, maybe this is a medical situation. The hanged man could have been a hospital patient. Maybe you're waiting to see a doctor. You're getting some treatment of some sort. But the week is focused on your exchanges. Could be you as a couple. Maybe you're waiting to form a partnership. Maybe you're disappointed with your partnerships. Maybe you're changing your mind about some kind of agreement. This may connect to friends, partners, lovers, colleagues, and perhaps your ex. If you were deceived or you've deceived yourself, it could have been you're looking at a partnership where somebody has violated some trust or there hasn't been equal exchanges. You've been making a lot of sacrifice, but you haven't been getting anything out of it. Or you've been a taker, and maybe you've exploited another person. But this is a week that focuses on emotional balance. It may be necessary to repair a relationship. Maybe you want to end some hostilities, or you want to reconcile with somebody. Or somebody's trying to change your mind about entering some kind of partnership. This is a week where you're very focused on bringing some kind of idea or concept you have to life. You want to attract something that you desire and you're trying to use your influence to do it. In other cases, you're still operating under the cloud of the hanged man and dealing with some kind of illusion where you need to step up to the plate and take some kind of action. Now this is a week where positively you may be able to change your perspective. Maybe you begin to look at something from the other person's vantage point. You can understand where they're coming from. You can relate to them. Uh, and so you become an ally, a support system for someone or vice versa. In other cases, especially again, if there's been some kind of deception, you may become an opponent to somebody. And it could be centered around some kind of suspicion or some irritation that you have. Uh, this could be a week where you may be exiled or ostracized because you feel that people are working against you. They're trying to undermine your efforts. They're being condescending. They're being patronizing. And it could be maybe you need to change your perspective about what's going on because perhaps there is, you know, what could have been a happy situation, but you allow your perspective to get in the way and now everybody feels uncomfortable. Could be you're looking at something again where there's been some disappointment and you've decided that a, a connection that was once very important to you is now, you know, you're looking at that and giving it a second thought. So... 
you have to examine your motives this week and your connections. It could be maybe you're just so strongly needing an emotional bond that you're willing to accept uh, the security of a connection that doesn't really serve you. So perhaps something is undermining your better judgment about a partnership. Now the third week you have the Five of Pentacles. And for some of you, you know, this may be you feeling lonely or, you know, maybe you're trying to deal with some kind of illness. You have several cards that connect to illness uh, or feeling in some way disappointed or rejected or left out in the cold. So for some of you, you're dealing with some kind of loss. Maybe you're under some kind of financial strain. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of legal issue. There's a sense of uncertainty about your situation where you may begin to have a lack of faith. You may feel a sense of worry or despair. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of setback. It could be, again, you're looking at your partnerships to examine whether you are suitable with another person. For some of you, this is a relationship where, you know, there's some element of liability attached to it. You may be involved in a situation that is very passionate, and yet somehow it's costly for you in some way emotionally. Or perhaps you want to connect to somebody, but there's some financial strain or some material setbacks or obstacles that keep you from getting that relationship off the ground. Uh, for some of you, this is about, you know, your financial situation. You may be dealing with a lack of assets. You may be on some kind of um, problematic situation where your resources are dwindling. Uh, it's likely that this is a week where a couple of things just don't pan out the way you want them to. And it seems that things are very complicated. You're emotional, you're material, it's all connected, it's interwoven. And this could be a week where you allow those worries to take hold and maybe you become distracted. Maybe you end up, you know, very close to having an accident or some kind of close call or it wears on your health in some way. In the positive, this fresh perspective that you've taken on may allow you to gain some insight. Perhaps you learn a valuable lesson and you realize that something that you thought was going to take up a lot of time or a lot of money or a lot of emotion doesn't cost you as much as you thought. So this could be a period where you need to focus on taking better care of yourself, indulging in some way, pampering yourself, recognizing your own inner strength, your beauty, uh, you know, indulging in some kind of luxury of some sort. For others of you, you are feeling put upon. You feel like there are just too many demands. Again, we get back to that sacrifice and what are you getting out of these exchanges and everybody wants a piece of you and something from you, particularly those that are closest to you, your loved ones. And so this is a week to pay particular attention to stay focused on what you're doing. Because if you take any kind of chances or risks, whether that's with your safety, your health, your finances, your emotions, you're likely to suffer some kind of consequence. So this is a week to be mindful of your resources, borrowing, loaning. Uh, you may be dealing with setbacks, delays. The weight you have to deal with something may seem agonizing. Everything appears to be more challenging. Uh, you know, maybe it's difficult. You have to wait to get what you need. Maybe you're waiting to see the doctor or you're trying to get the right diagnosis or trying to form an agreement. Or it could be that you're overloaded in some way, either your professional life or your personal life, and you feel that they're impacting one or the other. Now, the last week you have the Wheel of Fortune. So you're ending on a major card and it's likely that circumstances are going to be out of your control. This could be a week where you decide to take a gamble on something and either you come up a winner or you, you're unlucky, you come up as a loser. Hopefully there's a change for the better. There's some good luck, some advancement and opportunity. 
So this could be a week of important development, some kind of improvement, and things, although they were very slow in the beginning of the month, this is likely to be a turnaround of some sort, good or bad, where there's some rapid changes and where you feel as if providence has stepped in to take a role. So you have ended one phase. It's the number 10. You're at the end of a cycle and starting something new. For some of you, uh, this may tie to transportation. It could be a vehicle. It could be uh, travel plans. It could be new tires. It could be that that fresh perspective that you took on with the hangman is starting to pay off for you. That's your ticket to success. So how you feel, your attitude, your behavior is creating the karma. This is an earned karma card. And something that you do, something you set in motion is going to immediately change the course of a situation that may have been hanging in balance with that hanged man. Now, this is a week where you decide you're going to pull on your resolve. Maybe you have a financial dilemma and you come up, you draw on your emotional strength and become resourceful about how you're going to solve that. Or perhaps you have some kind of uh, emotional situation or something that you're facing that requires you to put your money where your mouth is. You may decide to invest in order to strengthen your position. This is a week where, you know, Maybe turning things upside down proves to be the right situation. Something that you thought was wrong turns out to be right, and you end up the victor. Especially if you are willing to do more than your fair share. So for some of you, sacrifice is important. Even if you feel put upon or there are too many demands, Going above and beyond improves your chances of success. So this could be a week where you decide to go ahead and take charge of a situation. You're making some decisions. You're making some changes. And things may turn out better than you expected. Especially if you're using your talents, your strengths, your know-how to overcome some challenges or some obstacles. Again, keeping a, a handle on your... Uh, emotions. You're maintaining that composure. And for some of you, this is going to tie perhaps to something foreign, maybe travel or the removal of something, something that's been hidden for you up until this point. Maybe there's some kind of delay or maybe again, you're dealing with some kind of issue where uh, there's an element that is clandestine or secretive, or perhaps you're dealing with people who are in confinement in some way, perhaps because of illness or some kind of difficulty. So it's important for you to allow the doorways to open, to not close off to new opportunities just because maybe you got off track in the past, because something is lucky for you this week. Something, you know, is happening, even though maybe you're not considering it to be lucky. Maybe you're taking it for granted. It seems small or insignificant. And if something doesn't go your way, it could be a blessing in disguise for you this week. Now, you may become impatient, especially if there are a lot of demands, and especially if you're trying to stuff back and hold those resentments. Somebody may offer you some kind of suggestion, or they may offer you some constructive criticism and you take it the wrong way, and because you don't listen to that advice, you stay on this track going nowhere. So this is a week about your confidence level investing in yourself, belief in self, and that level of expectation. How much do you expect to get out of life or how little? Because something about how you feel creates your circumstances. Now, this is all being driven by the moon card. So for some of you, this is connecting to your feelings of security in whatever form that comes in, maybe through a maternal figure, your mother, your child, even the way you're nourishing your body, what you're putting inside, how well you're eating, the things that make you feel comfortable, secure, loved, and cared for. For some of you, this is about a travel issue. For others of you, this is about some emotional and psychological breakthroughs. Uh, so you are working through something 
Maybe you're dealing with people who are, you know, therapeutic in some way or visionary. Perhaps you're focused on making some changes that are creative. There's a vision that you have. You're an artist. You're trying to create something. And, you know, you could be making some changes, how to generate some income or, or make, you know, changes to a situation, a partnership, an agreement. For others of you, you're having to adjust because you are dealing with a negative influence, perhaps somebody who's lying or conning you, uh, somebody who has deceived you, perhaps you've been impractical in some way and you've deceived yourself. So this is a month where you're going to have to deal with some kind of confusion, something hidden, something secretive, and try to work through it to gain some clarity. It could be that you're dealing with people who have uh, emotional problems or you're dealing with people who are deceptive. So something in your life is going to have to be examined just a little bit more closely. And it's going to be important that you are vigilant in trying to get to the root of a situation rather than avoid it. And you're going to have to maintain this delicate balance between your emotional perspective, how you feel about something, in connection with your material assets or some opportunities because this is a month where things are in flux. You're going to have to adapt to change uh, and it could be change that comes without any kind of notice. So things are in flux for you and because of that, because you don't feel settled or you don't feel secure, you may feel irritable, suspicious, depressed, anxious, without quite knowing why. There's something going on, and it's likely that for some of you, you're going to hear some bad news. Maybe it's about, you know, something that affects you personally or about someone you care for. And because you are, you know, in this heightened emotional state, you may be susceptible to it playing on your health. Maybe you have some upsets or some illnesses that are directly related to your stress. You may feel emotionally out of sync with others. And again, it could be because you're in exile, you're isolating yourself, or it's been forced upon you in some way. And you're looking at your insecurities. You know, they may be make driving your decisions. So the more... Uh, insecure you feel, the more vulnerable you're going to feel to those criticisms or imagined slights. And it may tie to the past, your memories, feeling nostalgic, feeling sentimental, some past influences, and in some cases being stuck in the past and having difficulty moving on. So this is a month, again, for you to take care of you, to look at where you're giving in too much, to compromise when necessary, but to understand when you're being an enabler or a martyr for a cause that has no value for you personally. It's a month for you to look at relaxing, finding something that you enjoy, something that is distracting, that can take you away from problematic situations and keep you from taking your frustrations out on the wrong people. But this is a month for you to get real about your situation. If you're not facing the facts about your job, your health, your relationships then you're likely to be caught up in a self-defeating cycle, a pattern of behavior where you allow your fear and your anger to work against you and the opportunity and the luck that may present the chance for you to make some changes that are going to improve your situation. This is also a month where secrets are going to come out, yours or those of others. And you may become overwhelmed by your situation. This is a, a month for you to not allow your concerns for the financial or the material to override your emotions because that's going to be counterproductive for you. Now, this is going to be a month that focuses on you tying up some loose ends. And again, that perspective is key. Uh, you know, knowing when to accept advice. Maybe you don't have all the answers that you think you do. This is also a, a month for you to look carefully at those people who are not delivering on their promises, where you have been deceived, where you're deceiving yourself. And it's about you 
trying to achieve some form of success and recognition and how you go about that. Are you doing it in ways that actually are catapulting you to the top? Are you undercutting yourself in some way? So the keys for you this month are to maintain your composure, to have confidence in what life has offered, and to be vigilant in examining the emotional and the psychological factors that either help you to succeed or hurt you in some way. However, in this reading, communication is problematic. It could be that either you or someone you're dealing with is being illogical, being impractical, uh, and you may, this during this period, have very little sense of reality. Maybe there's a desire to dream. Uh, maybe there's a tendency to lose yourself in your plans, or you become involved in something risky. You're involved in some kind of speculation. There could be some instability or some wastefulness in connection with your situation. Whatever it is, Something about it is not going to be completely resolved, and it may be a year or longer before everything, you know, all those loose ends are tied up. Something about decision-making or ideas is clouded right now, and something is going to prove more complex than it appears initially on the surface, or how you're dealing with the situation is way more emotional than the situation itself. And it could be that as soon as you make up your mind, the quicker you do that, the harder it is to follow through with what you've resolved to do. For some of you, this is about some kind of guilty pleasure. Maybe there's some hedonism taking place. You're focused on having fun. There's a concentration on sensory pleasures. And while it is very comforting, it's also very passive. This is a month where perhaps not a whole lot is happening. It could be self-indulgence. It could be you're involved you know, with, in a situation where the two of you are indulging one another. For some of you, there's some definite issues connected to perhaps drugs or alcohol. Maybe there's some binge drinking. Somebody's being very... Uh, disciplined and under control during the work week, and then on the weekend, they just let loose. Um, there's also, by the end of the month, a situation of divide and conquer. And somebody's going to have to step up to the plate and take control of a situation that may be chaotic and impose their own ideology with regard to law and order. This would be like some form of discussion, debate taking place, and, and a lack of resolution. And on, in the meantime, somebody is standing on the sidelines suffering because you can't come to some kind of answer. All right, Aries, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know with your comments, and don't forget to subscribe. You can also support me on Patreon, join me over at my blog for daily posts, on Instagram, and over at Vimeo.